Okay, welcome again. And today lesson will start unit 12, which is the last unit of book for English 2. As usual for uh, each unit, each unit has three lessons. This um, unit has also three lessons. This lesson will be about data, structure, and press flow. Go through each of them in this lecture. Okay, we'll start with the first lesson of today. It will be about data. So data means basically any kind of information you have. For example, any picture, video, it took a message you text, okay? Any type of programs you installed, all of these are considered to be data where it can be stored in your mobile or storage unit. Another um, use for data is any sort of information that is obtained in order to be studied. For example, if you are a scientist and you want to study the atmosphere of Mars, the planet, okay, you need to obtain some sort of information. Okay, you need data to be collected, like the temperature and whether some creatures could live there or not. So these are data that are obtained in order to be studied or examined. Okay, let's start with our first activity. This activity we need to read about a device that is called or vehicle. It's called Mars Science Laboratory. What does that mean? This this is the device that is used to collect some data on a planet that is called Mars. Okay, this is a robot. It means it can move remotely. What do I with that? Okay, you can control it while I, while I am on the Earth. Okay, we'll go through how that this uh, system works by reading through uh, this uh, passage. Okay, the Mars Science Laboratory, or MSL. So MSL stands for Mars Science Laboratory. Okay. What is it? It is a rover or a mobile robot. So basically, this is the MSL. Okay, it is a, bo a bo robot, a mobile robot. What do you mean by mobile? It means it can move. Okay, mobile means can move in either direction. It is not stationed. Okay, look at the diagram. Before that, it can move around to the surface of Mars. So surface is the uh, ground of the planet. So we have planet that is called Mars. So we have Earth, where we live uh, in, and we have nine planets. Okay, so surface here means, we said before, the ground. We have sky and we have ground. Okay, look at the diagram. The diagram, as we can clearly see, this is diagram. It is drawn in order to explain how a device works or to show its components. Okay, this is typically what does a diagram mean. It has a body. So these are the components. A body, six wheels, two robot arms, two antennas and a mast. Antennas and a mast are mounted on the body and the robot arms are attached to the front of the body. So antennas, as we can see here, are used to receive signals. Okay, so I have remote control that can control this device. In order to receive its signal, we need antennas. Generator, in order to be able to enable this vehicle to move, we need a source of power. So the generator would um, uh, produce energy. This, this is the body where you can install all of these parts. Suspension. 
okay the suspension uh, basically means anything that would enable the mobile robot to move it has shock absorbers brakes and wheels so these are considered to be suspension okay as you can see these are considered to be suspension example of that uh, in your cars every car has a suspension okay it consists of um, uh, brakes shock absorbers wheels okay and it has uh, several items that vary among cars okay there are special tools at the end of each robot arm some tools break this is a frock okay other tools dig dig so we have floor digging means taking out some dust and rock in order to go deep go deep go deeper okay scientific instruments include then analyze okay it means study the soil and rock powder and this is the kind of data we took in order to be uh, examined the top of the mast is about this is the mast 2.1 meters above the ground the mast supports two special cameras they are called the mast cam and the same cam the mast cam mast camera and at the top of the mast looks all around the rover chem cam chemistry now so, me yeah, chemistry camera has a laser gun gun fires a laser beam and rocks up to 10 meters away and break them into powder so the champ cam functions uh, uh, to change the rock the rock into a powder because basically the robot cannot um, lift heavy objects so instead it changes the mass of the rock into powder camera then analyzes study the powder okay, the rover is about 2.2 m meter long so the length of the rover is 2.2 meter its total mass the weight whenever you see the word mass means the weight okay it's just under 8 800 kilogram this includes at least 60 kilogram of scientific scientific instrument it has a six wheel drive and special suspension system the wheels so we here are gonna talk about the suspension the wheels are made of titanium and are 25 centimeter in diameter the suspension system allow the six wheels to remain on the ground all the time it also uh, allows the rover to go over big rocks i think there is some mistake here uh, we don't need to but always here up to 75 centimeter high and over deep holes each wheel has its own motor this allows the vehicle to Take 360 so this is the rotation it can move at the speed of up to 90 meters per hour the average speed is about 30 meters per hour the rover can operate in the temperature range on mars basically what do you mean by range is a number from one for example to four this is the range this is called the range okay for example uh, the successful those who pass the course okay their marks should be within this range from 60 to 100 so this is the range if obtained means basically the student has successfully succeeded in this course so this is a range this range from 120 Celsius minimum up to 85 
Celsius maximum. Okay, don't forget to see the minus symbol here. Minimum means, as you can here, see here, this is the minimum. Okay, maximum, okay, the highest temperature it could hold. Okay, this is the maximum. Okay. The rover can tra travel up to one, 200 meters per day and can operate for up to one Mars year, approximately 687 days. So we'll go through um, some um, useful vocabulary. So we have include and exclude. Include basically means add. Exclude to not add. But driven by that, for example, an example for that, I would, I'll tell you that, I would include this exercise in the exam. What do I mean by that? It means in the exam, shall you will see this exercise. So this exercise is included, is added to the exam. If I, if I were more generous, I would say I would exclude it from the book means uh, from the exam means this exercise won't be in your upcoming exam okay won't see it so just cross it this is the meaning of exclude Example, look, as we can see here, this excludes crew passengers and fuel. Okay. Okay, wait a room. Like, range, as we said before, uh, that starts from one number to another number. For example, uh, as I said before, those who can succeed in the exam must have a range of 60 up to 100. So if your mark was from 60 up to 100, it basically means that you succeeded in this course. Mass um, uh, has a, sim a similar meaning uh, uh, like weight, but we want to talk about planets other than the Earth. Then instead of uh, saying weight, I would say mass. Okay, for three, uh, uh, once we finish reading, we should find some questions or answer for this uh, type of information. So we basically need the specification. Specification is the technical description of an item or device. So we need the height, length, mass, numbers, okay, average speeds. All of these are specification for the device we talked about was Mars Science Laboratory. Okay, this information could be obtained from this passage. Okay, for example, let's try to find the total height. So we basically would uh, want to find a number here. Let's try to look for a number. It's one Okay.
Okay, this is the answer. The top of the mast is about 2.1, okay? So this is, uh, we took the height from this point, okay? Above the ground, so we didn't find the answer exactly, but we find it um, from the sentences. Okay, the length. This is the length. This is the adjective. This is the noun. So the length is 2.2. Okay. I'll go um, provide the answers. So these are the answers for the passage. Okay. So these are the specification of the Mars Science Laboratory. Another, we have uh, some sort of uh, vocabulary. About approximately, basically means if you don't know what is, what is the exact number of something. Okay, you want to make a guess. Okay, instead of skipping a number, you could say about. For example, uh, I don't know how many students do I have here. Okay, I don't know exactly how many, many of them. But I'm not certain. Okay, instead of giving a number from my head, from guessing a number that might be incorrect, I would say about. Okay, for example, my students about, or the total of my students, the number of my students are about 370. Okay, 370. The speakers or the listener would understand this is not the exact number. It might go or goes up to 400 or below uh, 370. Why? Because I didn't give the exact number. For example, if you bought something but you don't ha know how much does it cost you. Okay, instead of saying I spent 1,000 real, you could say I spent about 1,000 real. I understand that you could spend more or less, but you didn't know at that moment the correct or the exact number you spent. Okay, so we have more than, over, okay, more than, for example, uh, and less than, I could say, so more than, less than, At over, and it means basically, for example, my class, I would I want to set the limit for my class ages. Okay, those who want to enroll in my class. Okay, if your age is more than 20, 20, you are not allowed. Okay, so I put a condition here. If your age is more than 20, you cannot enroll in my class. The opposite is less than. If your age is less than 20, you could, or under, basically under, you could go uh, to my class. So we have up to, at least, up to, if you set, if you want to set a limit, okay, a limit. For example, my class, have a class, okay? I can accommodate or accept students up to 45. More than that, there will be no enough spaces. So I wouldn't accept any number more than 45. The opposite is at least. You want to set a limit, a minimum number. For example, say I could start the course 
okay, if the number of students who enrolled, enrolled was at least five. It means below five, I cannot accept or start the course. Okay, below five, there will be no course. Up to 45 students, they will not have a place to enter. So this is the uh, meaning of up to at least. For example, if you want to succeed, for example, you need to get at least, at least 60. Okay, but you cannot uh, get uh, over 100. So this is the limit. Okay, for question four, we need to complete this uh, sentence, use the information in brackets. Okay, let's see an example for number one, the Mars rover. Okay, we need to mention the height. Okay, the Mars rover is about, or approximately, both of them have the same meaning, 2.1. It could be 2.2, .2, it could be 2. But I, I might not uh, have the specific or the exact number. I am about approximately 2.2 meter long. Okay, the symbols it means, okay, more than over. So both of them are correct. The rover weighs more than over 70, 750. Of course, it could be much higher than that. Let's see number three, the scientific instruments are at least 60 kilograms. Kilogram. Okay, are at least 60 kilograms. Means the weight can be higher than that, but not below. Okay, the wheels rotate at up to 36, uh, uh, 60 degree. Okay, this is the highest, the maximum rotation rate, 360. You can see this is the mouse. The mouse can go can travel more than overs. Okay, both of them are correct. 100 meters per day and operate up to about approximately 687. So this exercise, we take an example how to utilize the use of this vocabulary, provide or talk about numbers or set limitation. Okay, question four, we have some answers. So we have answers from one to 10. I need to provide questions for them. Okay. Imagine that you are an interviewer. Okay. You need to ask questions. And these are the answers you were obtained from these questions. Let's see the first one. The questions or the answer, it is called the Mars Science Laboratory. So I'm asking about its name. So basically, could use a variety of uh, uh, structure to make the question. Okay, I cannot stick to the examples that I'm gonna show you here. Number one, this is an example. What's the rover called? What is the rover called? What is the rover name? What is the name of the rover? Okay, this is two examples. Number two, so we have a number here. So I'm asking about the numbers, the numbers. How to make question about the numbers. Okay, basically if you want to ask about quantity, we we'll start with how and then use many because wheels are countable, countable, you could count them. How many wheels does it have? Okay, use have here because the answer uh, uh, hatch and the sub because the subject 
one singular which change it always try the provide an answer or question from the main verb okay don't try to write a question uh, uh, without looking to the sentences okay so this is the main verb you should use the main verb, verb also as a question okay an example that would be uh, correct if you use here need okay that because the answer talk about the position not about uh, whether this uh, robot requires when he is six years or not so bear mind that three titanium okay this is the name of material what are the wheels made of what are the wheels made of i use wheels as, as a subject because we understand that wheels okay are made of titanium in the previous uh, passage we go through together four they are attached to the front of the body so i think here i'm asking about location so what are the arms attached to or you can say where are the, uh, the arms attached to five it is mounted on the top of the body so what do you mean by it who is it here also and before you attempt to answer you need to read through the passage otherwise you won't be able to answer and if i what do i mean by it so this is a mask what is the mass mounted on where is the mass mounted as you can see the question using the main verb of the sentence six two point one so this is what the height okay and you remember this is the height so how to make question here how high is the rover? Seven, it looks at the whole area around the rover. What does the mass come to? Another uh, question, where does the mass come look at? Okay, so you are I will have the flexibility to change the questions uh, whatever you like so this is the, um, the distinctive of uh, language is being flexible eight it fires a laser beam at rocks and analyzes them what does the chem cam do nine around 80 kilograms how heavy are the scientific instruments so we are talking about the scientific instrument okay finally 10 which one it is uh, that has to be up to 90 meters per hour the speed what do you think let's see how fast can the rover move? Okay, up to 90 meters per hour. Okay, for seven, we have a question from one to four. Okay, this question had three choices. Try to answer one by one. And the diameter, the diameter of Mars is B. Remember, two Mars rotate the 
360 N, degree N, how many hours? 24 hours. So this is the type of question you cannot find the passage as it relies on your general information. Okay, so you need to study about Mars before attempt to answer these questions. Mars is blank kilometer from the sun. How far Mars is from the sun? B. I'm finding for Mars orbits the sun in. It means goes around the sun. 685 Earth days. Okay, thank you for listening for our first lesson. And now we're gonna go to our uh, second lesson. It will be about instructions. Instructions are set of rules. Uh, that you should follow in order to do something. Okay, for example, I have set a set of instructions for one of you if you want to succeed in my course. Okay, one of these instructions is to always pay attention to what I say at the during my lectures, to always bring the book with you, to never come late. Okay. So these are instructions, a set of information to tell you to do something, okay? It can be, uh, can include rules and warnings, okay? So this is a general term. Under it, you will have rules, warnings. Okay, let's see, uh, first exercise for today okay make a list a list is you put numbers for example one to five on things you need to do okay so it's our list of instructions so we have a listening here okay we need to listen and to complete and the blanks unit 12 checking and confirming Recording 58. Move forwards 200 centimeters. Confirmed. I'm moving forwards 200 centimeters. Now rotate 15 degrees to the left. Confirmed. I'm rotating 15 degrees to the left. Okay, this is the first one, moving. So this is basically a dialogue, a conversation between controller and the rover. So this is the rover, as you can hear, uh, uh, this is the robot responding to this man, to the controller. Okay. For number two, rotating. Unit 12. Okay, for three, you are the rover, confirm your actions. So imagine yourself, you are the robot, okay? How to confirm? What do you mean to confirm? Basically, repeat the instruction so that the controller understand that you did receive this instru instruction. What do, you, what do you need to do? You need to change it, uh, to change the... Uh, this type of verbs into the present continuous. You basically need a subject, verb to be, and add to the verb, main verb, okay, which is uh, the first one in this sentence, or each, 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 each sentence, to add ing. Okay, from one to eight, uh, the type of sentences are imperative uh, and the present symbol. Okay, imperative means does not uh, require a subject. You can see for number one, you had an example that is written for you. 
more forward to 100 uh, centimeter. Okay, we want to talk about your shelf uh, doing this instruction as you can see here. We needed what I, then am, I am, and we add ing to the verb. Whenever you uh, saw the suffix e, we need to delete it and replace it, replace ing with it. Number two, again, a sentence, because you are talking about yourself, you need to put I am for a sentence. Okay, then you add ing. I am rotating. Reverse. I am reversing. Rotate. I am rotating. Go. I am going up the hill. Roll. I am rolling. Go around. I am going around. Stop. I'm stopping. Okay? Don't forget that if the verb of the, uh, the, we had uh, and the verb, the verb has at the end a consonant and before it was a vowel, you need to double the last consonant and add ing. Also, for four, we had uh, a listening, so we need to fill in the blanks what you hear. Unit 12, recording 59. Right. I'll give you an instruction. First, do it. Then confirm what you're doing, okay? Okay. Then confirm what the rover's doing. Is that clear? Yes. Right. Let's go. First, make the rover move forwards 200 centimeters. Okay. I'm pushing the joystick forwards. Good. Now what's happening? The rover isn't moving. Right. Wait five seconds. Now what's happening? Okay, it's moving forwards now. Okay, for number one, make. Number two, move forwards. Three, four, Happening. Five isn't and six moving. Unit twelve. Okay, for six, uh, we need to complete the table with the information from table uh, and three and uh, notes below. Okay, so we have the instructions. In order to make instructions, you need to bet the verb at the beginning without using the subject. The confirmation to understand whether the receiver understands the instruction or not, whether he is doing it or it is doing it, doing, doing, doing it or not. Okay, you need to repeat the instructions using the written symbol, including the subject and helping verb. Okay, after one second, okay, you need to. Uh, Use the negative form, and after five seconds, you need to uh, update what did happen. Okay, table and three means an exercise three. We need to go exercise three. So these are what you should rely on in order to uh, be able to answer for this exercise. Okay, uh, we can see for number one, uh, it has been uh, written for you. 
Okay, number two, rotate 50 degrees to the left. Confirmation, put that in G form, okay. I'm turning the wheel to the left. It's one second, the rover isn't turning. Okay, five now, it is turning left. I see three. Reverse for 300 centimeter. So uh, uh, we need to change the sentence into the ing form. Okay, I'm pulling the joysticks backwards. The rover isn't reversing. Now it is reversing. Okay, the section for four, rotate 80 degrees to the right. So we have four, we need to change it, to change the sentence using the present continuous. So we add, okay, I am pressing. We add ing to the verb. I am pressing the rotate button. Now, we need to uh, change this sentence for four into the negative. So the rover isn't rotating. So there is no rotation. Okay, now we need to write the opposite. Now it is rotating. Okay, so we finished our two lessons for this, uh, for this unit, and we now go to the last lesson of this unit, which will be about progress. Progress basically means to be develop, developing, going from one level to another, okay? From one point to another. Okay, for example, Imagine that you went to a gym for the first time, okay? And you, you've been there, you've been practicing exercising for one year, okay? Definitely there will be progression on your body from the day one up to the last day of the year. So this, this is called progression, progress, okay, that you're developing. Of course, your body has been changed since your first uh, entrance to the gym. Okay, so this is progress. The industry of mobile phones, okay, were developed or progressed to a high level, okay? Try to compare the mobile phones since 10 years ago with the mobile phones of today. Definitely you can see that there are huge progression developing that happened to this industry. Okay, so basically progress means to develop. Okay, for example, definitely your English has been improving since your first day you have uh, encountered the language. Okay, you went uh, from a beginner level to intermediate and you eventually would reach be advanced in this level. So this is progression. Uh, what does progress mean? Okay, for number one, we need to listen to astronaut. This is the astronaut. Okay, this is the astronaut who goes to the space in order to obtain data or to study uh, the space. With a, uh, whether it's temperature, atmosphere, etc. So the astronaut is talking about his work. We need to complete a list of tasks with the verbs and the box. So we basically have certain vocabulary assemble, okay, to put together, attach, 
has similar meaning of a symbol. Okay. For example, I have a cable. I need to attach it to the to the computer. We have a tool. I need to attach it to its receiver. Spring means cake. Okay, cake. Disconnect the cable. Dismantle is the opposite of a symbol. Okay. For example, imagine this is a device. Let's imagine this astronaut is a device. Okay. We have legs, hands, head. Okay. Let's imagine that I took the hand, uh, the legs from the body. So I dismantle the legs. I dismantle the legs. I want to put them back, so I would use I assemble them. So uh, just talking about with uh, if this was as a, a device, not a human being. So I'm giving an example here. Inspect means to test. To test whether this one is working or not. Remove. Okay. To take out, to delete. Repair means to fix. Replace, if you remove someone with something, you need to replace it, add a new one. And this is the meaning of replace, to add a new one. We have take and finally test. So both of them have a similar meaning. Okay, let's see the answers and try to focus uh, on the listening. Try to write the correct word in each blank. Unit 12, recording 60. We sometimes have to make many spacewalks outside the space station just to do one simple repair job. Let me give you an example. A small piece of rock from space has hit an oxygen tank. What do we do? First, we must test our equipment for the spacewalks. Then, in the first spacewalk, we inspect the damage. We take photographs of the tank and the hole. After that, we go back into the space station. There, we plan the repair and prepare for the next spacewalk. In the second spacewalk, we disconnect the pipes from the tank. These pipes carry the oxygen into the space station. We remove the tank. Then we bring the tank into the space station. Back in the space station, we dismantle the tank. We repair the damage. If this isn't possible, we replace the part. Then we assemble the tank again. In the third spacewalk, we attach the tank to the side of the space station and connect the pipes to the tank. Okay, let's check for the answers. To inspect the damage, to explore, to test the damage. So for three, we need to take photograph of the tank. Take pictures, disconnect the pipes, remove the tank, bring the tank into the station. Okay, so these are the steps of uh, solving this uh, issue. First one is to disconnect the pipe, then remove the tank, bring the tank into the station. Dismantle the tank means make it into different parts.
those different small parts. Repair the damage. Okay, if you cannot repair it, you cannot fix it, the best solution will be to replace the part. Finally, assemble the tank. Okay, since you dismantle the, this process in order to fix the problem, okay, eventually you would need to assemble the bus together again after fixing them or replacing what is necessary to be replaced. 11 attach finally 12 connect so this is an example of a typical work that is by, that has been done by an astronaut and the space so this is uh, usually what do they do once they went uh, outside to so basically to fix things uh, in the space unit 12 so number two we need to write the opposite of these words okay We've been uh, through this vocabulary and we go through each word and write you with the opposite for each one. Unit two. So the first one we have connect, the opposite is disconnect. For assemble, okay, to put parts together, together. the opposite is dismantle. Okay, so damage. If you had an accident with your car, then your car is damaged. Repair. Okay, if you had the damage, you need to repair it. Remove. The opposite is replace. Okay, three, send to the controller talking to the astronaut. Complete the dialogue. So uh, this is a typical listening. We basically need to fill in the blanks. What we, what do we hear? Unit twelve, recording sixty one. Okay, today is the sixth of June, seven p.m. in the evening. I am checking progress on the space station. Have you done the first spacewalk yet? Yes, we have. Good. When did you do it? We did the spacewalk yesterday, on the 5th of June. Right. And have you repaired the oxygen tank yet? No, we haven't repaired it yet. We're still repairing it. When will you finish it? We'll complete the job tomorrow morning. Okay, these are the answers for three. Copyright Pearson Education Limited 2008. So, number one done. Number two did. With three repaired. Four repaired. Five repaired. Six repairing. Seven, twelve. Unit twelve. Okay, the use of yet, if you didn't finish something, okay, you can simply use yet in your sentence. For example, if I have given to you homework, I would ask you whether you have finished it or not. Okay, if you not, you're not still working on it, you can simply add yet to your sentence. For example, we, have, we haven't repaired the oxygen tank yet. Okay, it means you're still working on it. So 
This is an example of a task list. Okay, it means uh, a Y and means whether you have done it or not. If yes, you put Y. Okay, if there are some notes to mention, you, can, you could write them here. If you, if you didn't finish them yet, put N and then you need to write the date of completion, the expected completion. Okay, yes, so we have finished the lessons for this uh, course. I hope you have enjoyed uh, and get benefit from this course. I think some useful vocabulary as well as understand some structure that will be helpful for you and your workplace and other. Okay, hope you, hope you have enjoyed the lesson. And see you later in our final revision, inshallah.